Bora, Edu. Hi guys, welcome to uh, today's lesson. Today we're going to look at, I guess, all of the kind of the leady bits over the in the verse and the chorus, and also we're going to look at the intro from Stay Young. So the previous video, the nice long video, is where I went through all of the chords in that song. Now we're just doing those extra little bits to say it's intro, pre-chorus, and the two different chorus versions we've had. Really, uh, yeah, really like doing these kind of little bits over the top. They sound really good and they really add some layers to the song. So hopefully you guys will find them useful. The next thing you'll hear will be me playing through the intro and then we'll go through that. The intro is super useful because the um, first solo, which I'll do a video on very soon, is very similar to the intro. So if you learn, can learn that intro, you can definitely play that first solo in the song. So that's the next thing you'll hear will be the intro. <laughs> playing my way through the intro. So the way I kind of see this intro is two long licks that are kind of four bars long each. So yeah, two quite long licks. So we'll just do it that way. We'll do it as two longer licks. First shape is a D triad. Okay, so that's 10 on the B, 11 on the G, and 12 on the D. So a triad is just three notes that make up the chord, and that's, that's a D chord effectively. What I'm gonna do on the and of the first bar, I'm gonna play, a 12 on the D, then I'm going to strum those three strings and hammer on with my pinky on to 12 on the B. Then I'm just going to play those three strings again without my pinky on, so I get this sound. Roll my volume off, it's a bit distorted. Okay, so that's what we've got. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to play 11 on the G and I slide back to 9. Now, if you catch some of the other strings when you're doing that, it's not a problem, but I'm not looking to, basically. Then I'm going to play seven on that uh, B and the G. Yeah, like that. Then eight on the B, nine on the G. Back to the sevens. Back to the eight and nine. Slide up to 10 and 11. So let me play through because I'm... I'm uh, that first bit. So that's the first basically bar and a half. Okay, that's a double, I, I picked, sorry, I picked that twice. I didn't say that last time, did I? So from the eight and nine, I pick it and then I pick it a second time to do that slide up from uh, 10 to 11. Then I pick that 10 and 11 again, then eight and nine again, then seven and seven again. Okay, so there's a lot going on there. Okay, now I'm basically going to do that bit exactly the same next time as well in that second long lick, okay? So that's the bit to practice. Then this first time ending, I'm going to do a bend on nine on the G. And this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go up, down, up. Down again, pull off to seven. Nine on the D, and then two sevens on the G. I'm going to vibrato those. Then nine on the D again, and two more sevens on the G. And that's my first lick. That's the end bit there. So that's the first lick. As I say, the second lick starts exactly the same. 12 on the D with this triad shape. Hammer on with your pinky. Play the triad shape. 11. Slide it back to 9. 7 and 7. 8 and 9. 7 and 7. 8 and 9. Pick it again to slide up to 10 and 11. 10 and 11. 8 and 9. 7 and 7. Then... Another bend on nine on the G, really slow bend. Then I'm gonna re-pick to bend it down. And play that seventh fret G string three times. Then I'm gonna play seven on the G, eight on the B, seven on the G, slide away to nothing. So you end up with this second lick being. Hopefully that makes sense. Right, uh, yeah, so that's the intro. Next bit will be the pre-chorus.
Okay, so that's the lead line over the pre-chorus, so let's crack on and go through it. We start with a little pick up at the end of the verse. Uh, the line is, um, feel so ashamed, and it's over ashamed. We're going to do a hammer on on the D string, open to two, then an open G. And then we're going to go straight into open E string. I'm going to do four of them in total, and it's going to be down, down, up, down. Okay, one, two, and three, that's the rhythm. Then second fret, then I'm going to do third fret twice, then I'm going to do this hammer on, open to two on the A string, open D, then open to two on the D, open G. Okay, then I'm going to do the same thing again. Like that. It's quite hard to see because I'm zoomed out a bit for the next bit, but uh, yeah, so it's hammer on, open to two on the A, open D, and then there, okay. then. We do almost the same lick again, but we don't do that final hammer on D to G. We just do the first bit. And then we've got this big lick at the end um, as the back guitar is playing an A. The back guitar, you know what I mean. F fifth fret on the E string, then five slide to seven, seven slide to nine, nine to ten. Then I'm going to go 10 to 12 and then back to 9, like that. Oh, sorry, that was to 7, I've gone too far, sorry. There you go, got there in the end. Then, with my ring finger, I'm going to slide on the A string, 7 to 9. Then 7 on the D, 2 9s on the D, 7 on the G, 9 on the G. Bend that 9, up and down, 2 more 7s on the G. So... Final lick, pretty simple but sounds great, and that is the pre chorus. Okay, so this is the chorus. It's actually the first and the second chorus. The third chorus is a longer one. I'm going to do that in a sec. So this is pretty simple, so I'll go through it relatively quickly. The main lick is this seven to nine hammer on and then on the D string and seven on the G. So we come in from the, the bit we've just looked at, which is the pre-chorus, and then from there we're on that seventh fret G string, and then we'll let that go. And just as we, he's starting to sing, sing the first uh, syllable of invincible, we slide away to nothing, and then we start as he's just in between, basically as he's hitting s of the sibyl in invincible, we're going to start that hammer on seven to nine, and then seven on the G. Do three of those. I do quite a staccato G string there. It's not quite fully staccato, but it's close, you know? Then we end it by bending ninth fret up and down and then seven on the G. And that's lick one. We hold that uh, and then just as he's singing May, after, you know, uh, come what may, as he sings the May, we again slide away to nothing. And then as he's singing the first bit of unstoppable, the un of unstoppable, we do the same lick again, but this time we do the hammer on four times. So just the same thing, and then there's a not a long pause and we're straight back into the lick. Yeah, so that's basically then, so lick two is four times through the lick. Sorry, sorry about that. So then lick three is going to be, the set. as I say, straight after lick two finishes, we're straight into lick three. We're gonna go through that hammer on bit three times. It's basically the same as the first one. And then we're straight into the hammer on bit again. We just do it twice. And that's the end of the verse. And as I say, we do those two verses exactly the same. So 
the way it's going to go, uh, you know, structure wise is we've got the intro, which we've done the verse. Uh, I'll talk about in my other video, as I mentioned, then we've got the pre-chorus chorus, which we've just done. Then we go back and do the verse again, pre-chorus chorus. OK, so there's a solo after that first chorus and there's a solo after the second chorus. And I'll do those two in separate videos, as, I, as I've mentioned before. Uh, but that's where we're up to in the song. So now. Okay, so that's the final chorus. So we come into that playing the longer solo. As I say, I'll do a separate video on that. So effectively, this bit will come in as, again, it's the line is invincible. And it's that hammer on, it's the same thing we did in the previous lick. Seven to nine on the D and then seven on the G. Three of those, but then this lick at the end. That's a cool lick, isn't it? Bend that ninth fret G string. Seven on the B. So you're actually hitting the same note there. That's the idea. On the G string, pull off nine to seven, nine on the D, seven on the G, and then a nice big gradual bend on nine. So. Then as we begin to come down on that ninth fret bend, we then grab 11 on the D string. That's a C sharp note there. And uh, yeah, I just haven't found a, a better place to grab that. I suppose it could be, could be there. So either of those, I, I I've just been grabbing it there on the 11th fret, but you could grab it there on the 6th fret. I've literally just thought of that just now. I don't know why, because I'm silly probably. Anyway, so that's the, that's the kind of the first lick, so I'll play it through nice and slowly. Okay, lick two starts the same. Two of the, uh, sorry, three of these. Really, really quick. 10 on the B, 11 on the G. Same idea, eight and nine, and then seven and seven. You recognize that bit from the intro, I'm sure. Uh, and that's just a very quick, I always uh, hybrid pick that, but you can strum it. So that's it strummed, and then with hybrid picking, is like that, but that's just how I like to do it. Straight into another hammer on, seven to nine on the D, seven on the G, another big, big wide bend. And then we grab that C sharp note again. Okay, so let's go for lick number two. Okay, so that's lick number two. Lick number three. It's very similar, we've got three of these hammer-ons to start with. Then what we're going to do is we're going to bend nine on the G and then we're going to grab seven on the E. The first one's like that and then the, the final three are a bit faster. Like that. And then we go into a nice big bend on nine. And then we grab that C sharp note. Okay, so that's lick three, let me do that for you. There you go, there's that one nice and slow. And then lick four, very, very, very similar thing. We've got that hammer on three times. And then we basically play seven on the G and then we do the hammer on and then seven on the G. So uh, yeah. And we go, then we're gonna go to the outro, which I'll again do in a separate video. So we won't worry about that now. So let me play that final lick for you. Yeah, we're going to bend on nine, sorry, on the outro, I accidentally threw that in there. So that's basically, uh, yeah, that's basically that final one. So that's it, we've done all the bits. Okay guys, thanks for watching. As always, I really, really appreciate it. Hopefully you found the video useful. Um, yeah, I mean, there's those four different parts. Uh, they're, they're, you know, not too difficult, but they sound really, really great. There's a couple of really cool licks in there. Um, so hopefully you've enjoyed it. If you've got this far in the video, well done. I uh, appreciate you watching them all. Uh, I'll do my usual spiel at the end. You know, if you like the video, please like the video. 
please comment on the video, please subscribe to the channel. All of those things are super, super useful for me as a content creator on YouTube, which is why I always ask if you would do them for me. Uh, I really appreciate it if you do, and I, but I really appreciate all your support and all the people watching. And I will see you guys again soon for more of this song, let's face it. More Stay Young and more Oasis. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.